All right, we're checking out the only game where you can one punch man 7.7 billion people completely out of existence. It's Solar Smash. Solar Smash had a gigantic update that added a bunch of really stupid things that you can do to the planet, which is exactly what this game is supposed to be. I like how before we had space worms, like a, a space Cthulhu, and now we just have the shadow of One Punch Man. It's like the ghost of One Punch Man's past. Just less festive and more deadly. Just because I know people are gonna ask, we're gonna start off with a bang. I'm pretty sure you have to start every instance of torturing all human life on Earth by blowing up the sun and allowing everyone to cook like they've been put inside of a planetary microwave. So there you go. I'm not- Never mind. I was gonna say I'm not gonna lie, it takes the Earth a long time to understand that it should be blowing up now. There's also a new planet. It's basically hell! I finally get to give the devil his just desserts after he ruins my life every day in GTA and Happy Wheels. As usual, I'm going to combine all these things in ways that will probably break my computer. Then I can use my YouTube money to buy a new one and then continue the vicious cycle. So I noticed there's a brand new rocket here. Uh, in order to test it, I'm going to use Florida as you do. Reason being because over in Florida, we have a natural, very high tolerance to radiation. SPF is basically made from our sweat and tears. I'm not gonna lie, I figured since it was the last item on here, that was going to be pretty impressive. To get 102 million deaths for one single explosion. And this game is pretty- Oh shit. Okay, uh, the numbers are going up kind of- Okay, everyone's dead. I didn't know that the rocket went from completely limp to incredibly potent. <laughs> All in one shot. It's one of those rockets that's a lot bigger once it gets in there. Wait a minute. Can you like do a lot of these? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's just, hold on. I need to slow time down so I can get more of these out. Auto clicker, go. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Did about a hundred of them. So if ever there were a point where this game would probably cease to function, this should be it. Although I'm not, I gotta say, it's actually handling, <laughs> It's handling 100 planetary explosions pretty well. There's a bunch of other stuff too over here. Back in my day, we just had a UFO and a planet destroyer. Now there's like a circular planet destroyer. And then a very wiener looking planet destroyer. All right, generally I gauge everything by, oh, you can change the power. First things first, everyone's gonna get killed with pink. I'm gonna start this on one, how high does it go? I shouldn't have asked. Oh, hey, I unlocked an achievement. When this game got updated, they reset everything. So now I've only killed 54 billion people. Gotta bump those numbers up. Alrighty, let's take a look at what the non-phallus looking planet destroyer does. Well, I call it a planet destroyer. Maybe it's just going to give the planet like LASIK or something. Okay, it's 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 literally giving the planet LASIK. I was kind of kidding, but now it's it's happening. The Marianas trench wasn't good enough. The aliens came and they're like, your trench is stupid. Let's fix it. How deep is it? Not 130 miles deep? Rookie numbers. When the hell does this end? What the hell is it legitimately just going to cut the entire earth in half? I have to sit here through this until the earth gets, I mean, I will. God, it's like the hydraulic press channel or something. It just costs 3.6 billion lives every time they make a video. Imagine if some plasma tore YouTube channel was, I don't know, like plasma torching a marble. And this is actually what was happening. I played this game in somewhere else in the universe. The civilization gets a lot lighter. Okay, clearly we need more of these. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, now we're doing it. Oh Jesus. Perfect. Somehow the planet is still alive. I'm not sure who got the top and who got the bottom portion. Is Florida still around? You're damn right it is. Come on, let me see if I can make a real quick tic-tac-toe board out of this. Oh yeah, it's like cutting a... A mandarin orange for your kid's lunch. Someone's at the galactic grocery store and they're like, how do you like your honey baked earth? Thinly sliced. Man, the earth finally gave up, Jesus. Okay, now I'm curious, what does the five get you? Oh, it's not wider, it's just deeper. That sounded bad, but it's realistically what's happening. All right, wiener laser, there's no editing for this, so it's your time to shine. Bruce Willis, Godspeed, man. Oh, it is, it's a planetary drill, hell yes. I wish I could make it a little bit girthier, but I mean, you take what you can get. Oh, it doesn't really know how to go in a straight line either. It kind of just does whatever the hell it wants. You know what it needs? Friends. All of the planetary Bruce Willis's go. 
There you go. The earth went to the salon. It's just getting an exfoliation. Oh, hey, here we go. They're exiting out the other side. It's kind of like shooting the earth with a really big gun, but the bullet is on cocaine. What's the little barrier thing? Does this like block the bad stuff? All right, let me see what this little sad shield does. It's trying to penetrate my shield. Actually, the shield's holding up pretty well. I'm kind of curious, like, can you stack shields and stop Cthulhu from, you know, harvesting the souls of all the people of Earth? I had to wait a second because Cthulhu comes out really quick. Okay, he penetrates through the shields, reels back. Now, typically he, he's, Oh! All right, Australia, you're the only ones without a shield, so you're my test subjects. Can one barrier stop a space Cthulhu? Yes, it can. I just realized I was over here by the missile area, and I totally didn't figure out what the hell this- <laughs> It's like a minigun. Australia's the only place where you can torch half of the continent and only 24 million people are dead. I know that sounds really bad, but watch Florida for two seconds here. Florida, boop. Three times as many people. Looks I can literally draw a face across Australia and not even get a billion people. I think it's because everyone lives right around here. I didn't mean to do this, but I gave my happy face like a tongue sticking out. Now it's either dopey or vastly inappropriate. I know, I know, I gotta give it a nose, hold on. There you go. One of the big questions I feel like everyone would have is what the hell is this? So I'm gonna give it a shot as usual on Florida. I, is it actually gonna be like One Punch Man punching the planet? He does he just straight some punches the planet for one billion deaths. Hold on, can I summon him like a hundred times and just punch straight through the planet? Oh yeah. This is how you power them up. Woo! And when the smoke finally clears, our boy has punched completely through the earth. And I, I don't know what this is. Down here, the earth has like a perfectly formed pair of testicles. I'm not really sure why this happened when the deific Rocky Balboa was punching through the earth. So can the SPF barrier protect Florida from the, the razor ruddock punch of astrological proportions here. No, the barrier does nothing against this guy. What the hell, it can stop Cthulhu, but it can't stop discount unity asset one punch man. Okay, now I was kind of curious exactly what we're dealing with over here. I mean, there's no one alive. Mainly, I just want to see if the, uh, the inside of the planet looks delicious, like good enough to eat. If it's particularly... Oh. All these little things are their own entities. Heads up, I need to get inside a lot faster. Now, kind of just looks like a radioactive Cadbury cream egg. I don't know how, but I completely missed my opportunity to activate my Thor powers. I'm not really sure though what lightning could do compared to black. Holy shit. This isn't lightning. What the hell? It's like an Earth-sized 12-gauge shotgun. How the hell are 5 billion people still left alive? Okay, now I need to slow things down again and see if there's uh, any kind of, oh my God. Oh yeah, might as well get the poles too, right? There we are. I'm not gonna lie, that looks pretty bad. Hold on here. There, now you could have the, uh, now you can have the full cinematic effect if there's anything left, it's gonna go to the highest bidder. I think there's like, uh, maybe eight or nine floating little planet chunks that we may be able to live on. Okay, that number's dwindling. There's like eight now, seven, I think like five. And this is what we're left with. It's basically like the, uh, the poop corn kernels of the universe. <laughs> Hold on, let me just... There's no reason, let me just clean this up. I just realized you can change the power of the planet destroyer? Can it get any more powerful? It was already destroying the planet. It was only at a two. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna double check that this thing still evaporates all life on Earth. Maybe, maybe it, maybe they kind of watered it down. You know, it's like the diet planet destroyer. I mean, it's still looking pretty bad. Yeah, everyone's still dead at a two. I'm not really sure why they had to make this any stronger. I mean, regardless, there's two things we gotta do. Turn the beam pink and crank it up all the way. All right, I've abused Florida a lot. California, you're up. Let me see what the, what the pink punisher here does. Charging up my laser. Like I said, everyone dies anyway to like the regular one. I mean, I can crank it down all the way and see if people can live. 
Okay, it still looks pretty deep. Everyone still dies. The only difference is people die deeper here. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me let me bring this down a couple notches. How low does it go? 0.5. Florida, test it. Sad planetary laser, half off sale, go. And we have connection. Uh, it still looks pretty freaking bad, and everyone is still dead. So, oh, sh I spawned another one. Wait a minute. Auto clicker, you're up again. Oh, hold on, let me slow down time. We want as many of these as possible. You gotta do it after all. You know what, what the hell? I'm gonna spawn a couple things here. Might as well. Maybe they can kill Galactic One Punch Man. Come on, baby. There we go. None of, like half of them aren't even looking at the planet. You look at the planet when you punch it. Okay, that should be enough random crap. Here we go. Most of the lasers are just going through the middle because there's really no core left anymore. And I appreciate that the little tiny bit that was left, just the few particles that had survived the cacophony of stupidity had to get blown up, even though they probably didn't get touched by the planet destroyer. I just need to check something. Machine World has the impenetrable barrier that you have to like beat to death before you're allowed to kill anything inside. Can you punch through this or is, or is this a, an instant stop? Okay, the, the barrier did absolutely nothing. So now can you, like, can you punch the core directly now that it's exposed? That should be a perfect alignment. Punch the goddamn core! Yeet! Well done, you did it. Just because I was curious, I had to go to like a place where there's two different suns and I had to find out if you can blow up both suns so you get like a two for one special. Taste my meaty laser. Okay, it looks like the secondary sun can't actually get touched. That makes me very- Oh, never mind. It totally blows up too. I think I just got a super fast achievement that said like 10 planets destroyed. Hold on, how many deaths are we at? My god, 144 billion people. Now we're talking. I like how you effectively get levels at destroying people's lives. Great, I'm a level six psychopath. Okay, so now I'm really curious. What happens if Galactic Jojo like punches through the sphincter of Cthulhu. I don't actually know if that's Cthulhu's sphincter. It's just the only hole that he has on him right now. I think I'm aimed up perfectly too. And there's the right cross. Straight up Cthulhu's ass. And it does absolutely nothing. The only thing it did was make everyone that Cthulhu took with him more sad before they ended up going straight to the nether realm. How many people were sad? About a billion. Okay, how about a space worm? Can I punch a space worm? Okay, the space worm is really slow. All right, you gotta pick up the pace, buddy. Okay, the space worm, God, it's like on GHB or something. Can you move a little bit faster? You, it's a straight line to Earth. There's no reason to do all the waggling. The Earth isn't gonna be there by the time you get there. You are making this go much longer than it needs to be. The Earth is currently wearing goggles. Goggles where it got double fisted. Okay, here we go. Now this is a real punch. Nothing. How about the lightning? Can the, can the, can the lightning from the emperor do anything? No. Now that I know that you can summon lightning inside of a planet, there's a pause button too, so hold on. If I make a little bit of a hole right here, you know, right in some of the best vacationing areas near me, then I pause and then I go to the category 2000 hurricane over here and I just, you know, randomly click a gajillion times. Does my gajillion clicks register all at once? I'm just gonna click for like five minutes and see what happens. Hold on, I'll be right back. Clicking intensifies. Alrighty. Now that we've done our thing, it looks like a, a another dimension is slowly opening inside of the earth. Um. Okay, everyone died at once. At first, there was like one billion people that were dead, and the other six billion people were like, we're not gonna be last in this race. I think what's interesting is I'm pretty sure that part of the Earth will still be left. Okay, now a lot less of the Earth is going to be left. I thought there would be a bigger chunk than this. Now it just looks like a half-eaten piece of pizza crust. There you go. The only thing that's left is an alien hand giving me the middle finger. I was hoping that the minigun would do something to the space worm, but all it's doing is like feeding it. It's like feeding one of those dollar goldfish that you get from the local carnival that's gonna die in 30 minutes anyway on the drive home. The space worm is just like that. It kills like 4 billion people and then it just pisses back off into the universe. Welcome to Terraformed Mars, otherwise known as Elon Musk Mart. Now the one thing that this game always hated is when I made a nice pocket here, okay, follow me, and then we put the explodey testicles inside. 
Alright, you, you want a good amount. I would say, I don't know, 40? You don't want to pack too many in, otherwise they'll explode on you. Alright, now we get the Slender Man version of uh, Armageddon going. Now he should line up pretty much perfectly with the bombs. And this should start a chain reaction that will more than likely destroy my computer. I mean, it'll also destroy, you know, Terraform Mars. But the whole purpose here is to torture the graphics card as much as humanly possible. Okay, clearly that was a low punch, but goddamn! <laughs> oh my god, it evaporated him! He didn't even like duck away, he just disappeared! I didn't think he was killable, but he clearly is! The last little bits of his, uh, I don't know, his essence! I appreciate that that explosion happened, and still there's 700 million people left. However, that was enough to graphically glitch out a square from the middle of the planet. Well, this means I've gotta close things up over here, but that's fine. There's nothing like throwing a bunch of moons, and then also starting a bunch of lightnings. Oh, the lightning is starting inside of the hole! This is incredible! More lightning in the hole! Shove all the lightning inside of the hole! Emperor Palpatine would be proud! He's like, good, release your hatred. Oh, we're making the dark side proud. Wow, it, it will lightning strike all the way from over here. I actually clicked on this trying to destroy the moon that I had thrown at the planet, but it didn't give a shit about the moon at all. All the rest of the lightning is completely confined into my little sphere of total human anarchy. I like how the moon passed through here and it's got like one small pimple on it. It's like, ah, typical day in gray space. Now I need to know, would a legion of these things die to the sun exploding? This is like the last big question that's on my mind. So there's the legion, crank this up, make it pink obviously, destroy the sun, sun goes boom. And now everyone here that's pissed off at Florida has a choice to make. Do you stand around and backhand the sunshine state and possibly get skin cancer? Or do you peace out? Clearly punching Florida was their number one priority. Oh no, they're leaving so quickly. Come back, I need to know. I need to know if the supernova does anything. And... Nope, just a typical day on the beach. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you with 7.7 .7 billion people that aren't being tortured by me anymore. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Solar Smash. Till the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>